Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to the fifth round. As always, myself, Steven Musteris. And, man, UFC 266 this weekend got me stupid excited. I mean, there's a bunch of returns. If you want to count the return of Dan Hooker, um, the return of Marlon Marias, which I'm sure not many people care, but still a big return for him. Um, and then huge return for Nick Diaz, clearly. Um, but one of the more fascinating, uh, I shouldn't say comebacks, but at least like fights on the card for me is the heavyweight um, card, second one of the night on the main card, which we see Curtis Blades versus Jarzinho Rosenstruck. And man, this one's tough. This one's tough as fuck to pick. Um, I think DraftKings right now has Curtis Blades as like a minus 335 favorite. And uh, you got your Jarzinho, I think, at like a plus 260 underdog, which sounds amazing money wise. Like if you're going to bet on a on a fight this weekend, it would probably be that one just to hopefully just to hopefully make some money off the underdog. But this is where this is tough. Because if we look at Curtis Blades, his first fight in 2016 in the UFC goes up against the monster Francis Ngannou. Gets knocked out. Then he goes on a six fight win streak all the way from tw- like the end of 2016 through 2018. And then runs up against Francis again. Gets knocked out again. But then he goes on another four fight win streak. And then, you know, then he loses to Derek Lewis last year, gets knocked out by that vicious uppercut. And and then I mean, if you look at Jarzinho, you can almost say the same thing where it goes on a tear. I think he comes in three and four and the UFC all knockouts, and then runs up against Naganu. And I think we all remember it. Naganu running with his chin up in the air and just fucking just takes Jarzinho out, just just throwing haymakers. Didn't give a fuck about his power. Puts him out cold. But then Jarzinho comes back, wins one. And then he just lost to Cyril Ghosn um, the beginning of this year. And I think he came back and won another one. Um, I'm trying to think. of Sak- Maybe Sakai, I think he fought. I can't remember. But um, So it's tough because both of these fighters, if you look off their past losses, they, you know both of them come back and win. But it's this thing telling me right here where Curtis Blades, first loss goes on a six fight win streak second loss goes on a four fight win streak and then loses to Derek lewis in his last fight so if you're asking me um not only just because of curtis blades wrestling threat and everything i think curtis blades is probably going to pull this one out um i could see him honestly finishing uh Jorginho. i think it'd be like groundwork though and um I don't know. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a really exciting fight. Because again, like I literally just said about uh, Jessica Andrade in this last video, which I'm sure I'll probably put it up somewhere. But it's just like we get into these modes where it's like Alexander Gustafsson, Anthony Johnson, DC. Um, I mean, honestly, Jorge Masvidal, Kobe Covington. You you could say so many of these guys, and Curtis Blades is that guy in heavyweight. Where it's like, if it wasn't for Stipe, if it wasn't for Francis, you know, it's like. That would be the guy. And sadly, I mean, we see him. We lost to Derek Lewis on a beautiful uppercut. And he's been knocked out twice by Nagano. So it's almost like the dude is easily beating everybody else in the division. He's already done it. He's everybody but um, Lewis, um, Nagano, and uh, Stipe. So it's like, I just, I don't know. There's a huge reason why he's a favorite. He's got the wrestling advantage better than anybody has in the heavyweight division. And... I don't know, it's just tough, man, because Jarzinho is such a powerhouse and he's so strong and whatnot. I just uh, I just see more path to victory for a Curtis Blades, and I really, really have a tough time seeing him get knocked out again um, two times in a row. Um, clearly, clearly Jarzinho's got the power to put this man out easily, but it's just the, um, I don't know, uh, Curtis Blades and his team are really good at making you know changes and whatnot and switching up the whole game plan and just staying active, real busy, throwing kicks, throwing hard punches, and then just opening up the takedown. So, yeah, I mean, it's probably a fight that I'm not going to touch just because I think Curtis Blades is going to win, and you're not making anything off of any bet. You throw 100 bucks down, and you're barely making anything in this fight just because he's such a big favorite. So, I don't know. That one's tough. But if you are if you are a big Jarzinho fan or you are a big betting person, this would be the fight of the night that you definitely want to bet on and definitely go with uh, – the Jarzinho Rosenstrike, probably first round knockout. That's what I would uh, bet if I were you. Uh, just to, you know, double up your money, maybe like two and a half times your money. So, um, but yeah, I just think they both are really good at bouncing back for victories, but after a loss.
But I think uh, I think Curtis Blade just has way more tools in the tool bag, and I think uh, I think he avoids that uh, that power shot from uh, Jarzinho. And I think he pulls it out. I wouldn't be shocked at a little dot decision as well, but I think he's got the ability to finish him late in the second or third round. So um, that's my pick. And, hey, this has been the fifth round. As always, myself, Stephen Boosteris, and I hope you guys have a good one.